ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಹಂಪಿ ಹೋಳಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಕೊಕ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಬೆಳಗಾವಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಟಿ ಯು ಈ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಇನ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವ್ ಮಿ ಎನ್ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ದ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ವಿತ್ the chapter higher ordered partial uh, i mean higher ordered ordinary differential equations the chapter needs a, a little bit of knowledge of uh, uh, differentiation and in integration very little knowledge and it is quite a good uh, chapter to attempt uh, in the examination in the beginning only you need to know the solutions of a little bit of algebraic equations factorization here we go with uh, uh, some examples of higher order partial uh, higher order ordinary differential equations better you should uh, note down with uh, scribble with uh, these examples while observing these videos so first uh, we shall define uh, some examples we shall observe so that you will get an insight of what type of differential equations we are solving suppose i i tell that this is a differential equation of uh, second order because highest derivative is second order right hand side can be zero or it can be some function of x suppose i write uh, y triple dash of x you can write this x or you not write minus 5 y double dash plus 6 y dash plus 8 y equal to sin 3x i can write d square y by dx square plus uh, omega square y equal to 0 and so on and so forth in all this we are observing that there are these are the higher ordered ordinary differential equations because there is no partial derivative and the coefficients are constants with the constant coefficients actually so uh, we are going to solve these type of differential equations first we will see the category where right hand side is zero this type of differential equations we are restricting ourselves to second order and third order rarely for fourth order then we shall go to the methods where right hand side is non zero which are of the type e to ax sin of ax cos of ax some polynomial x square minus 3x plus 4 type right hand side so without much uh, delay first let me show you one differential equation where uh, you get a solution of such differential equations so i'll start with uh, uh solve following differential equations i'll come back to definition first let us observe the examples suppose you are given an example uh, i am repeating that example of d square y by dx square minus 5 dy by dx plus 6y equal to 0. Now, what do we mean by a solution? A solution is something, suppose I write, uh, observe this, it is not a part of solution, uh, not a part of solution, just observe. Suppose we have a algebra equations, algebra equation, and if i tell x equal to 2 is a root then if i substitute wherever x is there 2 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 6 which you have come across in school level 4 plus 6 10 10 minus 10 so it will satisfy so something which satisfy the equation is a solution or root here there are two solutions three is also a solution you can observe similarly here the solution of such a differential equation will not be a number it will be a function like y equal to e raised to x y equal to e raised to 2x or combination of both or y equal to sin 3x so if algebra equation is there numbers are solutions if differential equations are there functions are solutions if matrix equations are there matrices are solutions now i'll go ahead with the solution we take the help of what is meant by auxiliary equation so no one words uh, the short form of this uh, a e will be used where i write the same equation as uh, 
d square minus 5d plus 6. I will take the help of this equation where you can eliminate y part and observe this that this is symbolized as d square, this is similar as symbolized as d and plus 6 is taken and this is treated as something like x here for time being is a variable hence uh, d equal to 2 and 3 which are real numbers and which are not equal different are the solutions that time we write the solution equal to y equal to complementary function plus particular integral here particular integral doesn't come into picture because right hand side part is zero so this doesn't come into picture so this is known as complementary function so first of all we should understand that there are two types of two types of solutions one is when right hand side is zero and when right hand side right hand side is not zero so uh, whenever we have right hand side zero we have got a very simple type of uh, differential equations and uh, afterwards we shall equate when uh, find the solutions when right hand sides are so complementary functions complementary function and uh, this part is known as particular integral so at the outset uh, complementary function will be connected to the left hand side part of the differential equation pi will be connected to the right hand side of the differential equation now going ahead the solution becomes y equal to only cf and that solution we can write it as c2 and 3 observe first constant into e raised to that 2x second constant into e raised to 3x so whatever the constants comes so that 2 and 3 now the varieties are there if the roots are equal what happens if there are three roots what happens we will go on doing the example so this becomes the solution why it is a solution that i am leaving it to you you substitute this in the differential equation wherever y is there two times differentiation of this one time differentiation minus y times plus six y definitely right hand side which is zero we are going to get so now uh, i'll continue with the similar type suppose uh, we are having one more differential equation of the type uh, second example d square y by d square minus 3 dy by dx plus 2y equal to 0. Interestingly, in the first example, if I make a here plus, if I make here plus, if I make here plus, then the roots will be minus 2 minus 3 and the solution, solution will be just uh, one small change the roots will be minus 2 minus 3 the solution will be minus 2 minus 3 here similarly if i make minus 3 to plus 3 the same types of things are going to happen auxiliary equation that is helping equation is uh, d square minus 3d plus 2 equal to 0 so we can observe that d equal to 1 and 2 are the roots you can take the help of calculator also nowadays to find the roots of this so hence uh, these are real and different we shall note down this real and different Hence, uh, y equal to now only complementary function because right hand side is 0 is first constant c1 into e raised to 1x plus second constant c2 into e raised to 2x. So that if I make it plus 3 here, minus 1 minus 2 will be the roots e raised to minus x, e raised to minus 2x. Now, if at all I write d square y by dx square minus 6 dy by dx plus 9y equal to 0, then you can observe that can observe that auxiliary equation for the third one will be d square minus 6d plus 9 equal to 0. You can very easily observe that either it is d minus 3 whole square equal to 0 or you can directly write d equal to 3 and 3 are the roots which are real but not different which are real and equal roots repeating roots. So for this example, if y equal to cf equal to the method you have to write is c1x plus c2. Why I'll tell you if you don't write x, what happens is if you don't write this x, c1 plus c2 becomes one constant. And there is a rule that for second order differential equation, there should be two constants which are known as arbitrary constants. 
For third order differential equation, there should be three constants like C1, C2, C3. Fourth order differential equation, there should be four constants, arbitrary constants C1, C2, C3, C4. So now, uh, without uh, uh, the differential equation, just I shall make a table of observation. Table of observation. Suppose here one side I write roots and one side complementary function. If the roots are 2, 3, 5 or minus 5, then the complementary function will be c1 e raised to 2x plus c2 e raised to 3x plus c4, I mean c3 e raised to minus 5x. The roots can be root 2 minus 3 by 2 and uh, plus uh, uh, whatever you can tell, uh, 5 mixed type of roots, irrational, fraction. That time also you can write in a similar way e raised to root 2x e raised to minus 3 by 2x e raised to so there are three roots e raised to 5x if there are roots like 2 3 comma 3 then two are repeating first one is separate e raised to x second and third are common e raised to 3x if there are only two roots repeating then as we have observed c1 x plus c2 e raised to 6x if there are three roots repeating like like uh, 2, 2, 2, 2, suppose, then should C1 x square plus C2 x plus C3 e raised to 2 x. So by this you may can tell that if there are four roots repeating, then instead of x square, you should start from x cube, then it will be C1 x cube plus C2 x square plus C3 x plus C4 e raised to 2 x. So this uh, just for observation I told if there are three different type of roots these are the complementary functions. Again if there are three different types of roots which is a irrational fraction combination of irrational fraction and integer. If there are one, one set of repeated roots and one different then you can write like this. Again if there are two repeated roots, if there are three repeated roots, if there are four repeated roots. So I will go ahead with a similar type of examples. Here you have got next type of example. So this you can take uh, very important many times. This is uh, such type of differential equations appearing. Solve d cube y by dx cube minus or plus six times d square y by dx square plus eleven dy by dx plus six y equal to zero. So this is third order means c1, c2, c3 will come, three roots will come and right hand side 0, no particular integral. So for auxiliary equation is uh, dq plus 6dy d square y, 6d square sorry plus 11d plus 6 equal to 0. The same differential equation can be written as y triple dash plus 6y double dash plus 11y dash so you should not get confused plus 6y equal to 0. Or the same differential equation can be written as dq plus 6d square and 11d plus 6 common. You can write right hand side y equal to 0. All 1, 2 and 3 are same differential equations with different notations. Now you can observe that by observations. See 0 cannot be root because here constant is there. Then you should go on putting 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2. A positive root cannot have because if you put 1, it cannot be 0. Any positive number cannot make it 0. So next trial is d equal to minus 1. So when you put d equal to minus 1, you can observe that wherever if you put minus 1, minus 1 whole cube plus 6 times minus 1 whole square plus 11 times minus 1 plus 6 equal to 0. Very easily you can observe that minus 1 plus 6 minus 11 plus 6 plus 12 minus 12 becomes 0. So d equal to minus 1 is one of the roots, is a root, implies d plus 1 is a factor. To find remaining roots, there are two methods. One method, first uh, two, both the methods I will tell, one is factorization method. So this one, I will factor that, you can observe that d plus 1 is a factor. Whatever is this side it is there, you can take this side. d plus 1 is a factor. So thus this part. I will adjust such that d plus 1 you will get one of the factors. So d cube plus d square because if you take d square common you will get d plus 1. So in this remaining are 5 d squares because 1 d square is gone. 
So 5D square. Here also you should get 5D. Next I'll adjust because 5D if I take common, you'll get D plus 1. So in this 5 has gone, 6 remaining, 6D. Last one should be automatically adjusted. Then only the first root is correct. Now in the first two, second, third groups, D square common, D plus 1, 5D common, D plus 1, and 6 common, D plus 1. Again you take, again you take D plus 1 common, and hence uh, you are going to get D square plus 5D plus 6 equal to 0. D square plus 5D plus 6 equal to 0. Hence you can solve that D equal to minus 1. You can very easily see that minus 2, minus 3 are the three different real and different roots. Hence when there are three real and different roots, you know how to write Y equal to solution. Y equal to CF equal to C1 e raised to minus X. C2 e raised to minus 2X. And C3 e raised to minus 3X are the solutions. So now I will tell one more method for the next example. So that method you can apply for this also. Most of the uh, students adopt that second method. Factorization some students do not like. So hence I uh, will tell you one more method to find two factors like this. Two factors like this. So next example let me start with uh, suppose you are given an example of the type d cube minus 3d plus 2 equal to of y equal to 0. Naturally, the auxiliary equation becomes uh, d cube minus 3d plus 2 equal to 0. Here d square term is not there. You can treat it as 0 d square term. If you do it by trial and error method again, you can observe that 1 plus 2 is 3 if you substitute 1. So one of them is negative. All are not positive terms. So that uh, positive and negative both are possible as a roots. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So that d equal to 1 can be root because 1 minus 3 into 1 plus 2. So 3 plus 3 minus 3 becomes 0. d equal to 1 is one of the root, is a root of the auxiliary equation. To find two more roots, to find two more roots, we adopt a method like this. First write this root as it is, draw a line and these coefficients, 1 is the coefficient of d cube. There is a d cube coefficient, d square coefficient, d coefficient, constant term. d coefficient and constant term. So, constant term, if you write 1 minus 3, uh, 1, 0, minus 3, 2. Then what you should write is, first one you write as it is, 1 to 1. Second one, like this you cross multiply 1 into 1, 1 here. Vertically you should add, again cross multiply, 1 into 1 is 1, you write 1 here, add. The last one should be adjusted such a way that 1 into minus 2 minus 2, it's opposite you should get and 0. You don't get 0 here, somewhere wrong here. Hence the second factor, you can write, second factor, you can write it as, d square, the whole equation you can write it as d plus, d minus 1 was one of the factors and second one is d square plus d minus 2, d square plus d minus 2 equal to 0. So when you write this d square plus d minus 2, again you can solve and see that 1 plus 1, d equal to 1 is one of the roots, if d equal to 1 is one of the roots, then d equal to minus 2 is also next root. Hence, uh, we can very easily observe that roots are 2 are equal and 1 is di different. So, I can write y equal to cf equal to c1 x plus c2 e raised to 1 x plus c3 e raised to minus 2 x without forgetting that. Without forgetting that, you should write three, three constants for third degree equations. Okay. So, So we shall go for the uh, next example. Now suppose, suppose we are going to get 
uh, roots as observe for complex roots. Suppose I write a equation solve d square y by dx square plus 2 dy by dx plus some uh, 4y equal to 0. Then the auxiliary equation will be d square plus 2d plus 4 equal to 0. If I solve it by using the calculation minus 2 plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2. Then the observation tells that d equal to because the inside the square root it is negative plus or minus square root of minus 14 divided by 2 which is d equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 14 divided by 2 which is d equal to minus 1 plus or minus i into brackets root of 14 by 2 which is of the category alpha plus or minus i beta alpha is minus 1 beta is square root of 14 by 2 this time the uh, uh, roots are complex one, uh, roots are pair of complex roots where i comes so hence we are going to write e raised to alpha x complementary function as c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x hence the final answer can be y equal to alpha is minus 1 e raised to minus x beta is root 14 by 2 c1 cos root 14 by 2 x plus c2 sin root 14 by 2 x so we shall go ahead with uh, some more example where complex roots uh, will get uh, suppose we have a complex roots roots are here and uh, complementary function suppose uh, 2 plus or minus 3 as the roots then we should write complementary function as e raised to 2x c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x suppose uh, half plus or minus root 3 by 2 into i that time e raised to half x c1 cos root 3 by 2 x plus c2 sin root 3 by 2 x there can be combination of real and complex roots for example first root is 3 second root is uh, 2 plus or minus 5i for real root you should write as usual c1 e raised to 3x remembering that three roots are there been c1 c2 c3 and uh, for complex root you should write this is alpha plus or minus i beta type so e raised to alpha x e raised to 2x into bracket c2 because c1 is already over c2 cos 5x plus c2 c3 sin 5x so there can be mixture of real and complex roots one more example is suppose uh, 2 times 2 plus 5 i is there twice that is 2 plus 5 i 2 times 2 plus 5 i 2 times 2 minus 5 i 2 minus 5 i that time there are 4 roots means c1 c2 c3 c4 but for these 2 repeated roots and these 2 repeated roots we take pair also e raised to 2 x instead of 1 c1 here what we write c1 x plus c2 then we write common cos beta type beta is phi beta is phi which is cos 5x and uh, c3 c4 we adjust here c3 x plus c4 that becomes sin part sin of 5x which is pair of complex roots with this ob observation we are ready to go for the next example here we go solve d cube y by dx cube plus y equal to 0 this can be written as y triple dash of x plus y of x equal to 0 this also can be written as d cube y plus 1 y equal to 0 for anything the helping equation auxiliary equation will be d cube plus 1 equal to 0 now one root is 
minus 1 is 1 root is very clear because minus 1 cube is minus 1 d equal to minus 1 is a root for remaining roots we find root by a second method which is suppose for remaining roots it is known as synthetic division minus 1 you root right like as it is and uh, coefficients of d cube d square d and constant term we shall write coefficient of d cube is 1 there is no d square term there is no d term constant term is 1 and and write this 1 as it is cross multiply add cross multiply add 0 and 1 cross multiply last one should be 0 otherwise somewhere here we are wrong hence uh, the factorization of this of this whole thing will be d plus 1 is one of the factors so instead of dq plus 1 dq plus 1 equal to 0 now can be written as can be written as can be written as d plus 1 in here d square term d term constant term d square term is 1 d square d term is minus d plus 1 equal to 0 so this root is already over to find remaining roots you see that you have to solve d square minus d plus 1 equal to 0 using the formula d equal to minus of minus plus 1 plus or minus square root of b square means minus 1 here minus 4 times ac divided by 2 hence d equal to 1 by 2 plus or minus i root 3 by 2 is very simple d equal to minus 1 is one of the roots and pair of complex roots alpha plus or minus i beta alpha which is 1 by 2 beta which is root 3 by 2 hence complementary function y equal to cf y equal to there are c1 c2 c3 because third order difference equation should have three arbitrary constants c1 c2 c3 first one is real d equal to minus 1 for real root whatever the methodology is there like that c1 e raised to minus x for complex roots e raised to alpha x e raised to half x c2 cos c2 cos beta means root 3 by 2 x c3 sine root 3 by 2 x so we have solved different uh, types of uh, uh, differential equations now the variety variety we should see and we know also how to solve uh, second degree third degree then why not go for one fourth degree just for the sake of understanding not be very important for your examination but you should know it solve d raised to 4 x t here x and t combination is instead of y and x that also you should observe minus 2 times minus 2 times d cube x by dt cube plus 2 times d square x by dt square here it is not so difficult because i will tell you why it is now auxiliary equation is d raised to 4 minus 2 d square plus 2 equal to 0 2 d, 2 d cube plus 2 d square ok i will re rewrite for you auxiliary equation i am rewriting d raised to 4 minus 2 d cube plus 2 d square equal to 0 many of you might have observed this d square is common take it out so remains is d square minus 2 d plus 2 equal to 0 so that d equal to 0 0 are two roots and uh, d equal to 0 comma 0 two repeated roots and uh, remaining are by the formula 2 plus or minus square root of v square minus 4 ac divided by 2 which is very simple to note that 1 plus or minus this becomes 4 minus 4 square root of that is 2 2 by 2 is 1 i 1 plus or minus i can be roots my <coughs> here small ok so then y equal to cf equal to you know that 
here it will be c1 x plus c2 e raised to not x that is important here t is the variable c1 t plus c2 here also not y here it is x equal to x equal to in terms of t you have to write so nice and next is c3 e raised to t sorry e raised to t c3 cos t plus c4 sin t I'll explain you 0 0 for this c1 t c2 e raised to 0 t then alpha plus or minus i beta alpha is 1 1 t c3 c4 because after c1 c2 c3 c4 totally fourth order difference equation four constants so alpha is 1 beta is 1 sin 1 cos 1 t sin 1 t and so on the same difference equation suppose i make a small change as a uh, homework you can take small change suppose it is uh, d raised to 4 minus 2 d square plus plus 2 d cube plus d square here instead of 2 here 1 of x equal to 0 so here d is d by dt so that uh, i'll tell you in a similar way if you go you are going to get d equal to 0 0 and 1 1 as a roots same difference equation if you solve very similar so you are going to get d square minus 2d plus 1 here so that becomes 0 0 1 1 hence uh, cf for this without fail do all the steps here cf equal to c1 t c2 e raised to 0 t for this again similar type you have to write c3 t c4 e raised to 1 t two sets of repeated roots so one step ahead of this sometimes how to find this c1 c2 c3 also we have to observe for example solve d square x by dt square minus 3 dx by dt 3 dx by dt plus 2 x equal to 0 with the conditions which we call it as initial conditions with uh, conditions x at 0 is 0 differentiation of x with respect to t at 0 at t equal to 0 is 1. The first part is same. Auxiliary equation you have to find which is d square minus 3d plus 2 and without uh, any difficulty you will write that d equal to 1 and 2 are the roots x equal to in terms of t you write c1 e raised to t c2 e raised to 2t. So that if the conditions are not given this is the final answer which is x equal to complementary function. To find two constants, two conditions are given. Condition 1, condition 2. Now, instead of x, I can write it as x of t. This is the x is a short, short form symbol. Wherever t is there, if I go on putting 0, t 0, t 0, I will get x of 0 equal to c1 plus c2 equal to 0. So, x of 0 equal to 0 in, in solution 1. Suppose this is 1, I will get. Then x of 0, wherever t is there, go on putting 0. c1 e raised to 0, c2 e raised to 0, and x of 0 is given as 0. Or c1 plus c2 equal to 0, let us call it as equation number 2. Again, x of dx by dt, to find dx by dt, to differentiate, differentiate, 1 with respect to t what happens x becomes dx by dt c1 e raised to t remains as e raised to t c2 e raised to 2t 2 comes out 2 times e raised to 2t in this you put wherever t is at 0 dx by dt at t equal to 0 is given c1 e raised to 0 plus c2 2 times e raised to 0 is 1 which is given as totally dx by dt is 1 or rewriting c1 plus 2 c2 is 1 
so that this equation is 3 solving solving 2 and 3 for c1 c2 you can very easily solve using your any dual knowledge you are going to get c1 equal to minus 1 c2 equal to c2 equal to plus 1 because whatever is there they are opposite of each other minus 1 plus 1 these two constants you substitute here so final answer is x equal to minus e raised to t plus e raised to 2t uh, rewriting it as e raised to 2t minus e raised to t now you can very easily observe that if you put 0 here e raised to 0 1 minus e raised to 0 1 1 minus 1 0 it will satisfy here so why not so that to find the conditions you will be given extra to find c1 c2 we will be given extra condition so now today uh, we shall solve the last uh, example of uh, today's class. Uh, we shall uh, redo this. Difference equation solve mod uh, what we have to note down. Example what type of equations we are solving that is important. You got higher ordered difference equations with the constant equation Martha Devi. Observe matter go do. example d square y by dx square minus 4 dy by dx. plus 5y there example hage illu auxiliary equation hage barithira ondu formula use madkondu if you solve this equation you are going to get so very easily you can see that it is a 2 plus or minus i Andre alpha plus or minus i beta type, beta i type. So alpha is 2 and beta is 1. So y equal to complementary function equal to e raise to alpha x c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. So once again if you write y equal to cf, e raised to alpha x alpha and 2 hakbeku 2 x c1 cos beta and 1 so cos x plus sin x i will now this is the answer if at all conditions are not given but if the conditions are given the conditions given are which i have not written the example the conditions are given are y is 1 dy by dx is uh, 2 at x equal to 0 these are the conditions given. The first conditions as it is if you substitute y of 0 equal to e raised to 0 c1 cos 0 and c2 sin 0. This is given as y is 1 and 1. So cos 0 1 sin 0 0 only c1 remains so that c1 equal to 1 this implies to put the second condition naturally you have to differentiate this so if i find dy by dx differentiate madonna 2 times e raised to 2x second bracket as it is c1 cos c2 sin Ega exponential as it is is exponential as it is it to bracket and differentiate mod cos it do minus sin agide sin it do minus cos agide Again, wherever x is there, if you put 0, by a second condition, we are given 2 as dy by dx, so that 2 times c1, because 2 e raised to 0 is 1, 2 into cos 0, this becomes 0. So, really sin 0, 0 i2 plus c2, this is given as 2, but uh, c1 value 1 hack 2 plus c2 2 
ಆಗಿ ಸಿ ಟು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಝೀರೋ ಆಗಿಬಿಡ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಸಿ ಟು ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಫೈನಲ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇ ಎಷ್ಟು ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ಸಿ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಇದೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಇದು ಒನ್ ಇದೆ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಇ ರೇಷ್ಟು ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇ ರೇಷ್ಟು ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಫೈನಲ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಇವತ್ತು ಹೈಯರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟರಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನನ್ನು ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನಾಗಿ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ವೆರೈಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನಾವು ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಝೀರೋ ಇಲ್ಲದಾಗ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತ ಕಂಡುಹಿಡೋಣ ಟಿಲ್ ವಿ ಮೀಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಇದೇ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಗ್ರೇವಾಲ್ ಬುಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ತಾವು ಎಕ್ಸ